Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another Aubrey. Off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, see you folks, I'm Player View, Series B's I've been We're going to over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this. I'm not going to lie. I'm about to go to a concert. I'm about to go to a concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha! We'll get to that. Uh, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing so, I might be a little bit extra high energy because I'm going to a concert. I'm going to a concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha! Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm inside my truck, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. Super cool shirt I'm wearing today. Boom, it's my Easy S shirt. The fuck is Easy S? Uh, Easy S are a local band who I've been friends with for over a decade now. Uh, originally, they were a band called Paragon. Uh, then they eventually became a three-piece and decided to just completely do a whole new catalog of music, start up as a new band. Uh, I'm clearly doing this in a parking lot, by the way, where there happens to be a... Uh, there happens to be a car show going on. And yeah, yeah. I don't like car shows very much, folks. And again, I have to emphasize nothing against people who enjoy them or anything like that. Keep that shit to a place where it makes sense, like actual locations that are set up for this, instead of just fucking parking lots. And I hear everybody saying, ah, we got permits or permission or whatever. I don't give a damn. Fucking fine. If, if you're going to do that shit, go do it at some fucking abandoned goddamn. There's enough abandoned malls in America. Go to one of those. Not fucking an active goddamn parking lot. I'm getting all ready. Anyway, these guys are really, really good. Um, they're one of the bands that I'm actually here to see tonight. I have videos of performances that I've uh, seen of theirs over the years on this very channel. I'm also there to see a band called Divide Devour, <coughs> who I featured their shirts in a couple of my other reviews. Uh, in that case, uh, I'm a friendly acquaintance with the drummer of the band, and this will actually be my first time seeing them live, so there should be some videos after everything's said and done. But anyway, what am I trying for you folks? Well, interesting Brandon Wenzel fun fact, I mean, not really, but uh, when I go out to a concert, if I'm driving there and I'm not commuting in or something, I always make sure that I have one thing in particular, well, there's a few things, but one thing in particular always stored away in my car for after the show. That's an energy drink. We're doing boom! It is the five hour energy orange sickle energy drink. Woo! Sure. Okay. I have reviewed a number of these. If you're not familiar, five hour energy, it's an energy shot that you go over there, you down the thing, it's supposed to give you energy for five hours, hence the name. And Last year, they decided to go over there and come out with, like, full-on cans, an energy drink version of it. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. One of my friends, my buddy Dan, fuck you, Dan, because he doesn't watch my videos, uh, he was super into these. And as far as I, I think he was telling me, he can't find them anymore. I haven't seen them in a little bit, so they might have discontinued them. But I had a couple left in my fridge. And this was the perfect opportunity to try it. So, let's find out how the orange one tastes. I think I did like the tropical one, uh, grape, maybe? I don't remember. It's been a while. It smells good. It smells like a like a fucking uh, an orange dream school, cream school bar, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I hate car shows so much. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. I'm going to call it. It has been a while since I've tried the other ones. Uh, but I'm going to say this right now. I think this might be my favorite. Because, although I don't have the greatest recollection of what the other ones tasted like, because it has been a while now, it's, you know, several months, I do remember not being terribly impressed with the other flavors. Uh, none of them were like bad, but I didn't, I, I remember not really being like that into them for what they were. Now this is not outstanding, but it makes a better impression on me for the simple reason that it tastes like an orange cream skull. I like that flavor, so that already has that going for it, but 
it actually does a really good job of kind of masking the elements that I don't like about the five hour energy drinks. Uh, specifically, there's like, and again, this is a critique that I remember from the other ones. There's always kind of this like, I don't know, cheapness, I guess, but like that doesn't, I don't know, that doesn't feel like the right word, but like there's this element to the taste of them that just, it, it tapers off for me. Whereas, like, if it were a different energy drink, you know, Monster or, you know, Rain or some shit or whatever, it would be a moment to, like, really kind of punch through with the flavor and really make it, you know, at least for me, a really good tasting energy drink. It kind of tapers off and it has, like, a little bit of a weird aftertaste. This still has that. It still tapers off. It still has that little bit of a weird aftertaste. But the orange creamsicle aspect of it, which actually does taste good, carries throughout like maybe 85% of the drink as you're drinking it and it works. So I can actually kind of get behind this one a little bit. Now that said, this is not the only orange cream skull energy drink that I've had. I forget which one it is. Is it ghost ghost or bang or one of the, one of the newer ones. They also have like an orange cream skull one. And I like that one better for sure. Again, I think they just, and I like, and again, I don't want to, cheapness doesn't really feel like the right word, but, because I don't feel like they're, I don't feel like they're cheap tasting, okay? It's just that it feels, again, it's like, you could have gone all the way with it, you were this close, but then it feels like you copped out a little bit. And maybe that's just because of the base that they're using, because I'm guessing they're using five hour energy, whatever their, you know, formula is for that as the base and maybe that's kind of why it comes into effect since it comes into effect with all of them and then yeah you just get that little bit of an aftertaste that it's not horrendous but it is it's very noticeable and it's definitely the least pleasant aspect of the experience if the entire drink tasted like the first maybe 75% when it really is that heavy hit of the, the orange cream skull flavor, I would be perfectly down with this. I think that actually works really nicely and it tastes really good. It tastes like an orange cream skull. But then, just like with the other ones, it tapers off and you get kind of an aftertaste. So, yeah. Uh, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I don't even know if they're available anymore, but... Uh, maybe, and kind of. Here's the thing. Like I said, out of the ones that I've tried, which I think I have at least one more left to go, this is my favorite that I've had, I think. That's not saying a lot, though, because, again, I I haven't hated the 5-Hour Energy Drink line by any means. I thought they've been, you know, fine for what they are. But at the same time... I definitely haven't loved them, and they haven't really found a place in my energy drink, you know, lineup. They're there, and if I had to get one again, I would probably get this one again, but I just have better options. So, and as for recommending it, again, my buddy Dan, again, fuck you Dan, uh, he, he really, really liked them. So, like, clearly there is, you know, again, I don't know if they fucking sell them anymore, but... Clearly, there are people who do enjoy it, and, you know, they have that preference for it. So I'd say at least giving them a shot is worth it. I personally think that they're just a bit too mid-tier of an energy drink compared to some of the contemporaries available, but it's not bad. It's just kind of... It's it's a C aiming for a C+. Plus. That's about what I can give it. Anyway... Uh, uh, yeah, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Monumental rest of the rest of your year. And folks, you can go in there and have yourselves a truly orange creamsicle, dreamsicle, tastic rest of your life. Why does it have two names? I don't know. It's got to be a regional thing or some shit. Uh, but orange creamsicles are good. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do, can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. 
Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. You know, like I said, I'm over here trying to do my reviews. I got fucking car show fucking nonsense going on. But just, again, just get an actual location. And mind you, I say that, and it's like, I know for a fact that, like, the venue and everything, like, you know, I, I do want to emphasize, it's nothing against the people who show up. It's nothing against even the venue, because I know that the venue actually does help promote these. Like, you know, it's a thing for them. I'm not trying to shit, I'm just being grumpy Brandon guy, that's all. It's just, it's annoying to me, if that makes any sense. So, because cars aren't my thing. I can appreciate a nice looking car, but I don't give a shit. Uh, you know, and, you know, but I know people put a lot of love and care into them and, you know, it's their thing. And that's cool. You know? I'm just saying my fucking hobbies don't take up fucking whole goddamn parking lots. I'm just saying. Anyway. Uh, but it's important when we run into situations that are stressful, frustrating. <sighs> take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves. And for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try out some orange-sickle, five-hour energy, extra strength, tastes better, works better. Sometimes you're thirsty and tired, zero sugar. By the way, I forgot to mention zero sugar. One thing I will definitely give it, it doesn't taste like a zero sugar drink. So that's a point in its favor. Um, but maybe you're going to try one out. Maybe you're going to watch this review and you're going to be like, why do they... Why is it called a cream school and a dream school and blah, 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 blah? So then you're going to go on an epic quest, right? And you're going to be like dragons and like Shaolin Temple and like, you know, I don't know. There's like some sort of sea monster type situation, the Kraken, you know? I mean, it'll be a whole Ray Harryhausen fucking adventure for you, right? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And maybe at the end of it, you'll find out that none of that had to do anything with the whole dream school, cream school thing. But the real value were the friends we made along the way. Or conversely, go watch a Ray Harryhausen movie. They kick ass. Bye.